Did I literally not just tell you morons to command this army? Alright, Arthur, you lead it. Please stop. Why are you swapping the characters around? Fucking lay siege to the place. You will do as you're told, game. Brafian's links is just to drift mark, that's fine. And I'll send the king along with the fleet all the way down south to their camp. The Arons are already down there. <laughs> they got a bit ahead of themselves. But yeah, Prince Arthur will uh, keep Dragonstone busy. guys can go south and help the king. That does not leave him wanting. And what not. Presenting his entire family in the siege. His heir is his wife. His... Yeah, his... Sister that he's great. How's the situation in Dragonstone? Is it worth sieging or? Just uh, take it for what it is and let him bend the knee. Although I will likely demand that uh, Dragonstone become my my bitch. I really hate when it does that. You click on the kingdom and it sends you all the way up there. All right, 
right, who are we, uh... We're attacking somebody. Defending against Spring Thingy of the Free Exiles. The Free Exiles being this guy. Yeah, I'm inclined to let them kill each other. I don't particularly give a shit about the Isles, it's just sort of my distant kingdom. At least the giant Westeros thing is out of my way now. <laughs> Before it was like, stretching all the way over there. Actually, I think it's going to change when the North comes back into the fold. Annoyingly. He's got a bunch of peasant revolts. But there you go, that brings the Targaryens, the Valerians, whatever you want to say, uh, into the fold, I suppose. We let him sort of call himself King and Thingy, but he's really a, a uh, vassal state, if you will, of the I was about to say the Iron Throne, but uh, of just Westeros, I suppose. I don't know. It could come in handy to have the Dragon Riders on our side. Or it could bite us in the arse down the road. They're rather distant and disconnected from the mainland, so... They can just sort of... They, they are under our rule, but, you know, they're to the side and nobody really pays too much attention to them. I'm slowly making Harren Hall badass, by the way. Slowly but surely. It's got a 15k garrison. It's getting pretty, pretty decent. Up by plague, a couple of looks of things. Trying to get medium realm authority as well, slowly but surely. It's not going anywhere, but you know, what are you gonna do? I wish I could command him to step down. Ah, yeah, great. All Paramount of the Reach has declared a blood feud against Fing Majig the Lazy. Ha why? can do because the fucking good lord pipers are popping up everywhere aren't they what the hell are you doing and now arthur is joining and so is the west good lord this i don't know what offense the fucking stormlands have caused but
And she died in my dungeons. What now? I can order them to stand down, but they never fucking listen to me. And for some reason, despite the fact that I'm the king, they just never fucking listen. Eh, that one listened. I stand corrected. Well, the Stormlands are fucked. Actually, uh, Dawn has come to the... It's like an entire civil war has broken out. All over some alleged offence that the Stormlands have given. And I can't stop it because I don't have the fucking medium realm authority necessary to do so. Despite the fact that I am the fucking king. Westeros is stupid, as is the AI. <laughs> it's so very stupid. The Stormlands stand absolutely no fucking chance whatsoever. Against the Reach alone, not to mention the fucking Westerlands and my son, who has like apparently has 10,000 men under his command. Where the hell did he get 10,000 guys? <laughs> From Duskendale alone, really? Alright. Yep. <sighs> oh, we controls 10,000 guys from Duskendale. I, I am slowly upgrading uh, Duskendale as well. Yeah, sure. Go do whatever the hell it is you want to do, dude. I mean, I could, in theory, just repeatedly ask him to stop the war until he eventually accepts and stops the fucking war. But, uh, every time he does that, it just gets all bitchy with me. Well, he died in battle, making her the queen. And she actually likes me. Or at least she doesn't hate me. There you go. That brings those regions into my uh, into my fold. All those little islands there as well. It's just the lower uh, the lower places that don't have anywhere. The Isle of Birds is actually a region. It's just not sworn to us. R r weirdly, <laughs> you'd think it would be. But because I've got a false religion and everything, they are not going to join me. Unless she gets ambitious and starts conquering the rest of it. But I'm not, I'm not particularly bothered. Like I said, it's it's a puppet state of the uh, of the Westerosi throne. But at the same time, we just don't sort of give a shit about it. And meanwhile, the North is fighting like 12 rebellions. What the hell is going on over there? Yeah, they're still, they're winning them. Not be too bad. That might be bad there. The Stark kid may get himself killed. She's betrothed to the uh, Dawn. 
He's named after the crown prince. There's very, very little going on, isn't there? I mean, we've brought the Baratheon's kingdom into our rule. Which I think was a good thing. <laughs> maybe it wasn't, maybe it was. Maybe, at, at, at any rate, if it does bring any conflict, at least it'll be fun to do. <laughs> but I do believe that with peace reigning across Westeros, at least for now, I think we will uh, skip ahead probably to Arthur's rule. Since uh, there's nothing real much going on right now in uh, in the Kings, so yeah, we'll uh, I'll see you guys in a bit when something actually happens. Hey guys, it seems the game actually covers my thoughts precisely. Um, as it currently holds the title of Queen of Wallando, whatever the hell. Uh, however, due to the title being pretty thin, she has no legal right to keep this uh, royal title whilst under my vassalage. Therefore, I must decide whether to remove this title from her or else grant her a royal privilege. Due to the Targaryens backing their uh, ancient lineage, and the fact that her kingdom, air quote, is fucking, like, miles away and so f disconnected from the realm, I'm willing to let her keep the title of Queen or King of the Isles, you know, that region down there. So, uh, I'm, I'm willing to let her just keep that title, so long as she bows to the King of Westeros. So, yeah, she may remain her uh, royal style. Yeah, I'm happy to let her do that. That's so I'm I'm cool with that. <laughs> hmm? What's Dawn up to? I will order her to stand down. Yes, but I can't fucking I can't guarantee I'll actually listen to me. <laughs> Nobody won't. Stupid game. Uh, I am. Hmm, yeah. When I, uh, at some point I will. What the hell is, why is every, what the hell is going on here? Revolt against the crown prince. What utterly ridiculous bullshit are you trying to pull? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, end the war. Or I'm going to kill you. Not that I can kill you because I don't have the fucking ability to do that. What the fuck? I am the king for Christ's fucking sake. Uh, I mean, he's dead, regardless, but I'm fed up of all these dumb pricks being able to rise up and do things that are just utterly fucking hilarious, like this, right here. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Uh, uh, no, uh, I, I'm, I'm moving my rights. The fuck you are. <laughs> I say what your rights are, you little shit. <sighs> I hate this game sometimes. Anyway, moving on, likely, like I said, to, uh... Prince Arthur's rule, because I doubt anything of any major import is going to be happening during this one. So, you know. Hey guys, completely fuck all happening, really. A couple of years later, got quite a while down the line, actually, after uh, King Adrian the Conqueror died of grayscale at the age of 68. He lived for quite a fucking long time. At the end of the whole thing, he had a bastard son in the north, who's up in the north right now in Overton. He had a bastard daughter with some Valerian chick that he screwed, and she's married to the... Is she? 
Yeah, she's one of the hubs, the one of the husbands of the Lord of Dragonstone right now. Uh, I forgot she missed Prince Fess Fingy is married to the heir to the High Lordship of uh, uh, Gold Town. She's married to my nephew, the Lord of the Stormlands. My youngest son is married matrimonially to the Belmores. What about Prince Mance, who's given the what were widow's tower. My eldest son is Prince John the Grey, who's disfigured by a grayscale. He's doing pretty good right now with his traits. His eldest son is Sir Hollis uh, Darklin, who's married to a Castellan girl with a son of their own named uh, Andaha? Andaha Darklin? I don't fucking know what the hell they're coming up with names. But he's inherited the uh, attractive trait at least, which is good. I stuck the game on observe for quite a while and just let the AI go through a giant section of peace. Basically nothing happened. Other than the, the odd little rebellion, uh, religious rebellion uprising things that happened down and again. Basically nothing's happened. So, uh, yeah. I figured I'd just keep up to date on the peaceful reign of these guys. The Baratheons have uh, still held on to all of this as the alleged kings slash vassal state. Of Westeros, the Harlows control the Iron Isles. Aaron still control the Vale. The Starks still control that. Uh, the Weavers still control the Reach, and the Conductors still control the Stormlands as well. But uh, overall, nothing is happening. Nothing much has happened at all. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to stick the game back on observe. And maybe the real, the rule of Prince John will be more uh, entertaining. But as it stands, n nothing is happening. It's just years and years of peace. Boring, boring peace. <laughs> Moving on. Hey, guys. Uh, it's... What the fuck is... What are you... Literally, Loom, I start recording and then he fucking says, Now! I don't know what now means. Fuck off. But, uh, yeah, I was doing Observe, and I thought, Oh, look, there's a Rebellion! Oh, no, never mind. It's just some dumb prick in Brightwater being very stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just taking all of his shit, basically. Assuming that it ever stops fucking auto serving and lagging its ass. Yeah, by the looks of it, this is uh, King Arthur's rival. He has many of those, apparently. There's not really much of, uh... There are 73 members of House Darkman. Branches off all over the place, really, doesn't it? But, uh, this is a, a pathetic little revolt. Half of me die soon. Which will put us as Prince John and his many brothers. We'll banish this prick to the Night's Watch. Making him his son the, uh, the new guy.
Did I not just send it to the Night's Watch already? Yeah, he's already in the Night's Watch. Well, there you go. At the age of 53, King Arthur died after a period of illness. Long live King John. I'll send you back to the wall. King John the Grey. Could we please, like how many times have I attempted now to make people go for the Roman authority? Why do these guys hate me? It's what happens when you let the AI control the game for so fucking long, I suppose. <laughs> You to me. <laughs> Start to be a bit difficult. Oh, for, for fuck's sake. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fucking old loon, piss off. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the, uh, the death of King Arthur, and basically the only thing that's happened in the last, like, couple of years. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's like, there is literally nothing has fucking happened. Fuck all has happened. Oh, for fuck's sake. And this is why I fucking turn myself offline when I'm playing games. Stupid prick. Anyway, guys, that is all for now. Basically, nothing is happening with John. I'll, uh... I'll try to fix a bit of relations before I turn to the observe cheat again. But, uh, yeah. We, we're just like a string of peace. Nothing is happening. Absolutely fucking nothing is happening. There you go, really. <laughs> we're getting into the same rut slash hole that we came into with uh, House Targaryen, where basically nothing is happening. And it becomes very boring for me to record. Because uh, I've, I've left the game running for like an hour, two to two hours or something, and basically nothing has happened apart from this little, that little black water uprising thing that we saw there. So yeah, what what is like short breaks for you guys in between sections is like two to three hours of recording, like just like me sitting here watching the game do nothing for all that long. Hey guys, playing as Hollis the Honorable, absolutely fuck all has happened. Basically, uh, Westeros is still peaceful. Nothing is going on. Uh, all of our Lord Paramounts still control themselves. Aaron's still in the Vale. Stark's still in the North. Nothing much going down. Uh, my brother is the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard right now. Uh, my daughter is married to the Lord Paramount of the Reach. One of my sons is married to an Aaron. No, yeah, my son's married to an Aaron. Uh, one of my other daughters is married to the heir to the west, although she's an unfaithful little bitch. My own son is married to some lowborn chick, but she's got the, uh, the quick trait, which is nice. He has no son yet, which is concerning, but we'll see what happens there. 